Good evening, I'm Lori Wilson. Major details revealed in the R. Kelly sex abuse case in the last few hours. The state's attorney in Chicago said the R&B singer lured three teenage girls to his studio and house for sex. The fourth victim in the case is R. Kelly's hairdresser. A judge set a million dollar bond and told R. Kelly not to have any contact with children. We hope that uh, Mr. Kelly's able to get the money together and post bond sometime today or over the weekend and he'll be released. R. Kelly's attorney said he's pleased the judge set a $1 million bond. This afternoon, the Cook County State's attorney said the singer had sex with three teenage girls dating back to 1998. And he also tried to force himself on his hairdresser. Some of the women R. Kelly is accused of keeping in his homes came to the bond hearing. It's an absolute disgrace and it's a disgusting display what we witnessed here today. These young ladies should be permitted to speak with their parents. The Chicago Sun-Times took this photo of Joycelyn Savage on the left. This is our first image of the Metro Atlanta woman who at one time stayed in his Johns Creek home. We sat down with Savage's parents last month. Her family's attorney said this afternoon they still have not had any contact with their daughter. It's been more than two years. R. Kelly's lawyer said it may not be easy to come up with the $100,000 or 10% of that bond. He said he, the singer doesn't have that kind of money right now. We're going to stay on top of this developing story and we'll let you know if he gets out of jail.